Now our story is almost ended. Everyone has met him here. Will you take the Christmas baby home with you throughout this year? Let us hear from all the people who have met with God today. How will this affect their stories? Will this change them? Who can say? Strangest night, stranger morning, joy and sadness like a sword. When I kiss my baby's forehead, I believe I kiss my Lord. Though I'm his adopted father, I will raise him as my son, teach him all I know and love him, serve my king till kingdom come. I don't really understand it, all the things the angel said, but I know I knelt and worshipped by the Lord Almighty's bed. Why would God come down to shepherds? Poorest folk of all the poor, living with us, making us worthy. I don't know, but I adore. What have I to give to Jesus? Nothing but yet everything. For my heart and soul and worship, for the baby, God and King. Gold I brought, expecting royals. Majesty I found instead. Higher king than all kings ever, lying in a manger bed. I brought incense, made for worship, rising as a prayer to heaven. Prayers now answered by the baby, God's own gift to me is given. Myrrh I brought, not understanding how this babe would die and live, bringing life in all its fullness. Gifts that only he can give. So God's plan before creation, earth in heaven and heaven on earth, came in form of gentle baby, mighty God in human birth. Now Emmanuel is with us, Christmas is forever true. In your home, if you will invite him, God with you and you and you. God on earth and God in heaven, God with every human heart, greatest gift that e'er was given, we and God no more apart. Shout with us the Christmas story, let all heaven and earth declare, Jesus came to earth from glory, God is with us everywhere. I hope you've enjoyed our nativity trail. Now you've arrived at the final scene. I love the Christmas story because it reminds us of the good news of Emmanuel, God being with us. And actually the first Christmas story was quite a simple story. It was unexpected, but there was no flash trimmings. And I want us to remember that whatever Christmas might look like this year, although it may be very different from what you're used to, if your Christmas is simple, so was the first Christmas. And whatever you are doing, we as churches together in Obi want to wish you a very happy Christmas. And we want you to know that God is with you and that God loves you very much. Thank you for joining us on our Nativity Train.